Hello again, Brett Beck Altitude Scale Modeling. Guess what? It has been a month. Here is part 19 of the Airfix build series of the B-17. This is what we did last time. We put this nice gray coat on the bottom. We modeled it some. We did some panels. A little different than the rest. AK Real Colors, nice and smooth. Haven't done any polish or anything on it. Good paint. Next time we work on this, it'll be masking and painting up the top. And, as you saw and probably laughed about, we started working on this old RAF emergency set. Well, that's what we're going to work on today. So, these here are the ones that come in the B-17 Airfix kit with the supply, a thermi supply set. Very nice, they went together very well. They have primer on them right now so they can eventually get their olive drab paint. They look really good. You know, they don't have the wheels on yet, obviously, because I don't want to paint them wrong. This is the hose part that's going to be painted separately. Got the little cart with no wheels, got the little bomb trailer with no wheels. These all turned out really well. Airfix did a good job with these. This one is 30 years older and you saw me struggling with it. But we struggle but we never surrender. So where we were last time is right here. Which is Sorry, it's on my ball. We finished this part. Now we're going to work on this part. It's showing the wheels on here, but obviously we wouldn't put the wheels on because we want to paint it first. So we need a bunch of A parts. We need a 25, 27, 26, 29, 28. Not there. Those are the little dudes. Oops, differential came off. So, it's off the sprue, but I'm guessing that's 27, that's 26. Sorry, 27, 29, this is 26. And we're missing one or two parts. A25 is this one. And A24 is this one. And A28 is this one. So we now every part have every part off the sprue to do that. Here you go with A29 covered in flash. And again, it's a 30-year-old kit. Flash is to be expected. It's part of the hobby. They didn't have the same molding technique 30 years ago they have now. Molds didn't last as long. Flash here too. Maybe. Maybe that's actually part of. So I'm wrong. This is 29. And that little nub stays there. So. Do not cut off or sand off this part right here. This one is 27. You saw the flash on it. This one is 25. Not nearly as much splash on it. A little bit of a sprue gate needs to be removed. We're in the sand. This one was 28. Loads of flash. And I keep reminding you of the flash because it's here. 
You live with it, you clean it up, you build it. This is the actual ambulance. There's actually two ejector pin marks on the top of there too, on top of this stretcher. But again, we're going to sand all these parts up. This one, the ejector pin mark, actually has some flash on it. I'm just using the knife to get the biggest parts off. And the little A24 part. Where'd it go? Buried in flash, no doubt. Well, I took it off. Pull my little guys away. Probably got shot somewhere when I was moving all this stuff around. Probably got et by the carpet monster. Oh well, let's start some sanding. Try not to poke yourself in the eye like I almost did. So again, this is 27. So it goes like this. So this is your outside. Just try to get all your flash off the edges. So this is going to go right here. Okay, we're not putting it on yet. Because it won't stand up on its own. You see that plastic actually looks like it's kind of got a yellowing across the top there. I don't know if plastic can yellow. This one is going to sit right. Here. Okay. This is the other side. And these lips right here are the parts that are going to attach everything together. So make sure if you can, you can get the sander right in that line and clean it up too so you get a nice good fit. As you can see right here, there's a little bump, and that's going to interfere. And we don't want it to interfere. Just because it's an old kid doesn't mean it can't be nice. This one is going to go right here, somewhere. Just like that. Okay, two benches. They have pins. I go in here. This one lost one of its pins. But I'm going to make it smooth nonetheless. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see in this ambulance or not. Uh, actually, you can leave the doors open. So this is going to go in here. On here. That's a pretty good fit. These ends cleaned up a little bit. And then this one. It didn't lose an attachment point. And 
And I'm not going to worry about these ejection pin marks on the bottom because you're not going to be able to see them. Still haven't found my little step. So probably got et by the carpet monster. Let me just take one more pass through all these parts I slid over here. Nope, don't see it. Oh well. I got my Tammy extra thin and I'm going to start with this one on this side. So. It's going to go just like this. And I'm going to glue, sorry, I'm going to glue the seam on the inside. And I'm going to hold it for a second, let it bite. All right, we got a bite. This one, this is right here, and the two sides fold into it. So that one fits really nice. Okay, and then this side will fold into it there. So we can do another right there. Now I probably should have done this first, but I'm going to do it now. I'm going to put that bench in. This one go here without the and before I put it in I'm gonna just notice there are two ejector pins that are a little bit raised on here. And you know, this isn't going to be seen, like I said. Unless I leave the doors open. Even if I leave the doors open, they're not going to be able to see the top of the stretcher. I just want to sand them down a little bit. So, put a little glue in first. Put the bench in. Capillary action, capillary action, run the glue right there. There's your bench. See two major ejector pin marks in there, so if you are going to have this open, clean them up. It really bums me out about that stair. Not that I'd see it, it just bums me out that it's gone. And a couple more ejector pins right here. Just a precaution. In case I leave a door open. I can leave it open on the side I took care of. Again, run a little glue. Get a little bite. Now this one I can do it on the bottom since I don't have it already glued into place. Ah. Well, maybe not. All right. 
night. This one's going to go just like the other one. Right there. Hold on to it for a minute. Also down this side. Hold on to it. Let the glue glue dry. Not really dry, but you know, bite. Get a good hold. Adjust your stretchers. And go down both sides here. Can't believe I lost that step. Check the carpet monster and I don't see it in the immediate vicinity. Oh well, life goes on. So we got a good hold on there. Step two done. Step three is all the suspension parts. Step four, and put your driver in. Step five, and you're done. So we are not putting the wheels on now, but we can put the axle on, the mud flaps on. Because we're gonna put the tires and wheels on until we get it painted. Look what I found right here in plain sight. A step. I don't think it was there the whole time. I think it was somewhere else. Or you guys were just sitting there laughing at me going, It's in front of you, dumbass. Yeah, well, double dumbass on you. Now I drop it. Good for me. Guess I shouldn't have said dumbass. Ah, found it. <clears throat> All right. Let's get this cleaned up and in place before I lose it again. A little bit of flash on the attachment points. Okay. Since I have to do this this way. Glue. Tweezers. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. Oh, it was in the hole. Crap's going crazy. Just a little boy playing about to win his first masters. Oh, it's in the hole. It's in the hole. There we go. Now we need some more A parts. A parts? Yes. Here's my drive shaft. And there are no flaps on there. Hmm, not suspension, not suspension. Those are the doors. A parts on here? Nope. Check the box of loose parts. Could be. Definitely could be the tires. Flaps. Yep, flap. Nope. Nope. Ah, we have a winner.
it's on with the figures. I'd have never guessed that. Three more mud flaps or fenders, depending on how they're placed. Steering wheels going in when we do the front part. Okay. So. Looks like there's no particular way that goes. Or that. I hope y'all are doing fine. Enjoying life. Entertaining the, yourself and the family. It's too long. Okay. That's hooking into there. This is sitting on there. Yes, I know it's pointing down. There we go. Drive shaft into place. Now we're definitely going to let this dry and be primered and painted before we try to put those wheels on, or else we're going to end up breaking this off. So I'm just going to hold this for a minute while I look at the next things I need to do. I need A13. Get on here with the boys. Nope. 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 Nope, but I do need those parts. A13 right there. Maybe I shouldn't use a cutting mat that's the same color as the parts I'm cutting off. Okay, this is going to be the same thing. It needs to be glued on there and dried before we try to push the wheels on. But it sits perfectly just right there. These two indentations sit right there on that part. On those springs. Just like that. Make sure it's straight. Or your wheels won't sit on the ground right. And now we've got these fenders or mud guards or whatever they choose to be. So, has everyone joined the Hellcat group build page on Facebook that Steve Sutton set up. If you're in Dare Fix and you're going to build 124th Hellcat, you might as well do it with others. 
And I'm sure it's a much better kit than this thing is. These little things here. So one guy with a Hellcat said his fuselage parts didn't line up. Boy, did that cause a huge bunch of conversation on a Facebook page. Airfix bashing. Lack of skills bashing. Why can't we all just get along? I'm not getting in the drama myself. So. There is one, it's got way too much flash on the back still. So Looks like there's a square part with an attachment point right there, and a rounded part, and a pin part. And there's these little slots in here, so it looks like it goes like that. Around the wheel. So I think maybe these should wait until I do get the wheels on. So I've got the dimensions right. All right, turn her over. We've got a seat that just fell right off. Everybody see my Facebook page, we got snow. First day of summer, we got snow. Can you believe it? Well, that's what happens up here. But I don't have to worry about other natural things happening. Oh my god, they got the seat on the wrong side. Eh, just kidding. Got you English guys all in an uproar. I had fun. Sorry, I needed a drink. Yes, I know all your seats are on the wrong side. Doesn't seem to fit. Maybe it's supposed to have a little overhang. Because there's a little box on the bottom. See that? Fits in that little box right there. But when you do that, it's got a little bit of an overhang. But maybe it's supposed to be that way. Got that one glued right in there. Maybe. There we go. And two shifters, 33, 34, which I saw here. One's a shifter, one's a handbrake. And the handbrake has mucho flash. There's that word again. Maybe we should be playing some Queen in the background. Flash. I'm not a singer. Okay. 
shifter goes in the boot, the handbrake goes next to it. So, as I was saying, the shifter goes in the boot, in the boot, starting to feel like I'm Canadian. What about that? And the handbrake, which of course matches my mat, I put it down and I can't find it. Oh, I should have used the green mat. That goes next to the shifter. Right, like that. And your front end, which is here. Copper Monster thought he was going to get a whole sprue that time. There's a little sprue gate right here that does not belong. Little instrument dials on there. And this is going to mount right. I just knocked down my shifter and my brake. That wasn't very smart. Let's try this again without knocking everything down. Nice. Okay. A little bit more clean up on the bottom. And then we need the steering wheel. which I just had. Oh. No. Yes. I do not see a 36, which is my steering wheel part. Can't read that one. 61. I don't even see where eight thirty six was. Well, since how we're model builders here, we're gonna. Make our own. Using a little bit of one millimeter.
styrene rod that I just happen to have sitting here for a different build. So. You just get right there. Get to know your firewall. Steering wheel. Uh, make my hole a little bigger. No cracks. <laughs> hole crack. Yeah. Make sure I get it, have it look too long. Yep, too long. That'll be perfect. Are any of my American? viewers going to Chattanooga in August for the IPMS Nationals. I'll be there. Some of my friends from the Scale Model Graveyard will be there. From Red Dragon Model Works will be there. From Ken from Badger will be there. Wing No Wings will be there. Edward, Zukimura, Ravel, all the big name model builders will be there. Uh, according to their website, it's the largest vendor room they've ever had at an IPMS show. If you want to have some of your kits professionally photographed, the guys from IIF Fine Scale Modeler Magazine will be there photographing kits. I'm not taking any kits. I don't do competition building. Not that it's bad. I just... I just don't have the talent or the fortitude or the cojones to put my models in a show. Respect to you guys that do though. I'm just not one of them. All right. So the spare wheel will go right there, and the top which of course needs a lot of cleanup. See, there's kind of yellow on there, too. I don't think I've ever known plastic to yellow. I've known decals to yellow. I won't be gluing this on right now. Because I need to detail up the driver's compartment. side and see pretty good with this side oh not quite wait almost there oh. I'm 
looking pretty good there. When we actually glue it, we'll be spreading the things out and getting it in there. But like I said, I'm not attaching it now. This would go into there. Because I want to be able to detail up the driver's compartment a little bit. The steering wheel looks too big. Steering wheel looks too big to me. But that could just be me. So next is let's see. I need A43, which is the radiator. And A42, which is not here. Nope. Nope, nope. A42. Here's the two back doors. So there, I can't even get the sprue cutter in. You know, I thought that was a piece of flash because the way it is right there, but that might actually have been the steering column. These two parts here go through the red cross on top so those aren't going on yet and I need the sides for the hood which are with the little soldier boys let's work on the hood first So first thing I'd want to do is take the flash off this radiator. And from around this headlight. And it should go right there first. I need these parts, or else I won't get the shape right. So this one is going to go here. Anybody else go to this much? Actually, that's a dumb question because I've seen some of your guys' builds. Some of you guys go to more work and hard stuff than I would ever even think about. Some of you guys' builds are so phenomenally amazing. If I didn't love modeling so much, I'd give up. But I've been modeling most of my life, so I ain't giving up. I mean, one of those guys that kept modeling after they had kids. And now one of my 
my kids' models. Only one, but it's better than none. So what I'm going to do is lay this hood down. I'm going to lay this down. So get my finger out of there. I said I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to make sure this is cleaned up before I try to do anything. This like this, and then I'm going to put this like this, turn it where I can see it. So I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to get one in. Time to bite. Okay. That. That. This one is one's. Off. Not any more. Okay. They both have a little bit of an overhang. It's going to sit like this. said it's going to sit like this. Okay, so what I've got here is a little bitty issue. This up. Making it all come apart. Gently sanding. Let the sander do the work. Sorry, I took it off camera to bring it closer to my head. Problem appears to be this part of the hood. Or bonnet, depending where you're from. There we go. There we go.
And of course these things didn't fit all that wonderfully well anyway in the real world because this folded up and that folded up. But as long as we can still get our top in here, right? I didn't shift all that stuff, which looks like we're okay. There we go. All right. That one's done. Except for A44. Which is kind of broke. A44 push rod. I don't know, I'm going to investigate A44. There you go. That only took 51 minutes. I hope you were thoroughly entertained. Because we're going to stop with this one. And... I'll probably do the next one off camera because you don't need to sit through that again, and neither do I. But there's the detail for the next one. We'll get that all done, and we'll get them in the primer, and then we'll get vehicles ready to be detailed. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry before that they were taking so long, but I'm on a rhythm now. We're going to get this done by the end of the year. Thanks for watching. Get your ass in the seat and join me. Have a great day.